All right, everybody, I've got a really quick hitting video here just as a, a quick recap of how to do this U substitution where we're going to deal with our fixed coefficients. So I'll outline the problem. We'll look at a solution to how we can fix that problem, and then we'll look at another example. So the problem is when we start picking our U substitution here, we'll notice that 3x squared plus 5 is inside of our exponential. So that's a really good idea to pick for U. And then if we look at what du is supposed to be, it's the derivative. So we'll say d over dx is 6x, which means du equals 6x dx. By now, a lot of you are just skipping ahead to this part, which is fine. I'm totally good with that. And you'll notice that while we have an x and while we have the dx, our coefficient is incorrect here. We don't have that 6. So here's the solution, just as a reminder. If we want to get that 6x dx in here, I'm just going to go ahead and put 6 as a coefficient inside of my integral right in front of x. But if I do that, I have to cancel it out by offsetting it with the reciprocal on the outside. So I'm going to say this integral is really 1 sixth times the integral of 6x e to the 3x squared plus 5. Now I've got my u right here. And I also have du right here. So my new integral is this 1 sixth still out front. That's, again, from offsetting my inserted coefficient. And now I've got e to the u du at the end. Antiderivatives then go pretty easily once we're substituted out. So our antiderivative of e to the u is just e to the u. So we still have this coefficient of 1 sixth e to the u plus c. And then we can switch it all back to our x variable. And so we've got 1 sixth e to the 3x squared plus 5 plus c. So we're going to input a coefficient, offset it with a reciprocal, only if our du doesn't match up. Let's take a look at another example just to make sure we're okay with how this goes. So here, let's go ahead and pick a u and a du. u is going to be x cubed minus 4 because it's inside of the square root. And so du is supposed to be 3x squared dx. But what we have is 4x squared dx. So I'm going to do a mixture of things. I'm going to take this 4, and I'm just going to bring it outside of my integral. It's a random coefficient that I don't need. It's not going to impact me at all. So I've got 4, my integral with x squared. And I'm also going to just change this to an exponent of a half instead of a square root, because I know I'm going to need that later anyways. Now, I'm going to go ahead and input the coefficient that I need, 3. And then I'm also going to divide by 3 on the outside. You'll notice that this 4 sticks around, too. I brought it out here because I don't really need it. And so now I've got 4 thirds times the integral of 3x squared times x cubed minus 4 to the half. Our x cubed minus 4 is u. And 3x squared dx, all that stuff, is du. So here's our new integral. We've got... 4 thirds times our integral of u to the half, and then our 3x squared dx becomes du. Again, we can just do our basic antiderivatives now. We still have our 4 thirds, but now we're going to increase our exponent by 1, and we'll divide by that number. So we've got 4 thirds times 2 thirds, because we'll use the reciprocal now, u to the 3 halves plus c. And when we switch this back over to u, we've got 8 over 9 times x cubed minus 4 to the 3 halves plus c. So our 3 gets inputted. We divide by 3 at the same time on the outside of our integral. And there we've got our antiderivative. So that's how we can do u substitution where we fix our coefficients.